Following operator training video on the Hobart Model 9-inch vegetable slicer attachment is a supplement to the instruction manual that came with your Hobart vegetable slicer attachment. If you have any questions concerning operation, please consult your manual. Your Hobart 9-inch vegetable slicer attachment is constructed and designed to give long, satisfactory service, providing it is properly used and maintained. This training video will cover the operation of the vegetable slicer attachment and its cleaning. Warning, rotating knives inside. Always use the feed pusher. Keep hands out. The Hobart 9-inch vegetable slicer attachment will operate with any Hobart machine equipped with a number 12 or number 22 attachment hub. Remember to always set the mixer speed so that it will have sufficient power to drive the vegetable slicer. The vegetable slicer may be used for slicing potatoes from 1 16th of an inch to 5 8 inch thickness, cutting vegetables such as cabbage for salads and coleslaw, slicing cucumbers, celery, and other vegetables, slicing fruits such as bananas and nuts, and shredding or grating cheese, raw carrots, beets, and nuts. The attachment is made up of the following three basic units. The back case available in number 12 or number 22 attachment size. The front, either hopper with a feed pusher or tubular with a feed stomper. And the plate and shaft units, an adjustable slicer, a shredder, or a grater. The back case mounts into the attachment hub of a mixer or food cutter or power drive and is retained by a thumb screw on that machine. The standard front is of the hopper and feed pusher design. It hinges onto the back case and is held closed with a latch. To remove the front, lift the latch and swing the front open and raise from the hinge holes. An optional tubular front is available which permits end feeding with a feed stopper. This is used when cutting at right angles to the plate. To adjust the slicer plate unit from approximately 1 16th of an inch to 5 8 of an inch, turn the mixer, food cutter, or power drive off, and then turn the adjusting nut. It is not necessary to remove the unit from its assembled position. Shredder plates are available with 3 32nds of an inch, 3 16ths of an inch, 5 16ths of an inch, and half inch hole sizes. The coarse plate is normally used for making chopped slaw, cutting vegetables for soup stock, salad blends, or hash brown potatoes. The medium and finer plates are for fine shredding of carrots, beets, turnips, etc., and for salads or quick cooking use. The grater plate may be used for crumbling hard cheese or grating hard vegetables. To operate the vegetable slicer, stop the power unit, in this case, a Hobart H600 mixer. Attach the back case of the slicer to the attachment hub with the thumb screw. Drop the hinge pins of the vegetable slicer into the holes in the bosses of the back case. And select the plate and shaft assembly, such as the slicer plate, to be used. Lift the plunger and insert the plate and shaft assembly into drive position. Release the plunger. Set the slice adjustment, if used, to proper thickness. Close the vegetable slicer and fasten the latch. Set the speed, then start the machine being used as the power drive. Raise the feed pusher. Keep hands out of the hopper. Place the product to be sliced in the hopper and press down on the feed pusher. Too much pressure crushes the food and causes irregularity in the slices. Warning, unplug the electrical cord or disconnect the electrical power supply before cleaning. To clean the attachment, release the latch and open the slicer front. Lift the plunger and withdraw the rotating unit. The shredder and grater plates are easily removed from the plate hub by rotating the plate counterclockwise to release the key slot from the shouldered studs. All parts may be immersed in warm, soapy water for cleaning. Rinse in hot, clear water and dry immediately. It is important that juices be cleaned from the slicer before they can dry. 
When using the adjustable slicer unit, make sure it is cleaned frequently to assure easy thickness adjustment. Use a drop of tasteless oil on the adjustment threads after cleaning. Occasionally disassemble the slicer unit for a thorough cleaning. To do this, it is necessary to unscrew the knurling thrust collar, which has a left-hand thread. The spring is then free for removal. Withdraw the knife and shaft assembly. Unscrew the adjusting nut from the plate. Note, after cleaning, to prevent damage, the thrust bearing must be tightened until it is seated against the shoulder on the shaft. This concludes operator training for the Hobart model 9-inch vegetable slicer attachment. To obtain service and parts information concerning this vegetable slicer, contact your local Hobart service office. Yeah.